It's grad season in Toronto, but one ceremony last night was unique. Ten men who helped Canada in Afghanistan received their high school diploma. Stephen D'Souza has more now on their perilous road to graduation. Surrounded by friends eager for photos, they could be any students on graduation day, but their path to this moment is unlike their classmates. Last Back Back on Canada's most deadly missions in Afghanistan, they worked as interpreters, helping guide Canadians through a dangerous landscape. One night we went on Shawali Shaheen night. spent three years working with special forces soldiers. He came to Canada in 2012, and the memories still haunt the 25-year-old. I'm dreaming like I'm still there. I'm, I'm dreaming like somebody's shooting me. Every individual street was... 23-year-old uh, Fawad Saeed Rahim the remembers the first time he was ambushed on patrol and how a Canadian soldier action. offered him his so pistol to defend very, himself. It uh, touched my heart because at that moment, someone would offer you with a weapon even though it is hard to trust on Afghan people. Their work put their lives at risk. Death threats from the Taliban were constant. Graduation is about new beginnings ending one phase of life. In 2012, this group of 10 interpreters learn, came to Canada, part of a special visa program. For Rahim, it was difficult to leave his family behind. It was uh, really hard because the life starts from zero in Canada. The government provided money for housing and an education, helping make this moment possible. A moment Shaheen says fulfills not only his dreams, but those of his family back home. How to express that feeling that I had. I was so happy. Many will continue their education. Rahim is going to study mining, hoping that one day he will take his skills back to Afghanistan. My hope is that one day I will tell them that uh, I'm graduated from university. And that is only because of my first acceptance to Canada. A journey that has taken them from the front lines of combat to the graduation stage. Stephen D'Souza, CBC News, Toronto. It's a very happy yes, ending. Congratulations. Great story.